Hello and welcome back once again to our YouTube channel Oracle DB Online Training. So in this session, we are covering Oracle Database 23A installation on Windows Server. So this can be a Windows Server or Windows uh, uh, 10 or Windows 11. Okay, I will be giving a brief information how you can uh, perform the Database 23A software installation as well as we'll see how to connect to the database. So before we proceed with this uh, tutorial, I would like to request all the new uh, viewers to our YouTube channel. Please do subscribe our YouTube channel. We have already uploaded um, multiple uh, videos. You can take a membership program uh, for uh, channels and take the benefit of uh, exclusive contents related to the members. Also, uh, if you are interested about our recorded courses, you can visit our website. Uh, there's a recorded uh, courses are available you can easily enroll and uh, you can uh, go through the uh, recorded courses apart from this you can take our uh, uh, upcoming training sessions with the uh, go back to the training tab and you can enroll for our upcoming batches so the new batch is about to start you can enroll today and join our new batch so coming back to today's agenda like how the uh, installation of 23a can be done now before we perform this installation let's go back to a software download so in order to download the software you need to visit this uh, link i'll be sharing the links in the video description please uh, go through the links there are two uh, different ways you can download the software so first option is you can go to this one and uh, click on the links here so once you click on download or actual database uh, free version in the zip format for windows you'll find uh, one of the files will be available like this uh, that you'll be downloading so this is around 1.25 gb in size okay so once you download this software you have to move to the respective uh, system or server or uh, let's say this is a windows 10 or windows 11 system you need to uh, keep those software if you want to uh, <clears throat> look at the further option for download you can visit this link uh, again this this will provide you the download option <clears throat> coming back to the requirements before we can proceed with the installation of the software. You need to have the certain requirements from the operating system point of view. So one of the requirement uh, for this installation will be like, you need to have either Windows 10 running on 64 bit or Windows 11 running on 16, okay, or Windows servers. So currently the system that I'll be using, I'll be using Windows Server 2019. We'll see how the installation can be done on this server. And then uh, we'll walk you through the entire process. The disk space requirement for this installation will be around 8.5 GB for the software and 2 GB for uh, a temporary storage for any database creation. The RAM requirement is 2 GB. So overall, like within 10 GB, 10.5 GB of space and uh, 2 GB of RAM, you should be able to install this software. Okay, so this is one of the things that you should be aware about. Now. I will be sharing this document link also you can refer in the description of the video where you can have a detailed information related to the installation. So let me quickly walk you through this process like how the installation can be done for. So in order to do this installation, I have uh, already configured one of the Windows server on my virtual box. So I'll start this VM machine. Okay, let me make some uh, quick changes here. There's a network setting that I need to make changes here. Okay, that is done already. All right, so this window system is available now. So let me quickly log into this one and then we can proceed on this. Yeah, ignore that warning message. I will just uh, do that one. So this is currently running as Windows Server 2019 Standard Edition. And uh, for this purpose, I've already transferred the software to the server. I mean, uh, this is just a drag and drop. Let me remove this also that is not needed. So first thing what you will do, you unzip the software. Okay, so unzipping of the software, you just have to extract the file here. We will ask the location for extraction. I'll go ahead and click on this data extraction.
Now this software is unzipped already. Now we need to click on the setup option. Since we logged in with administrator user, so no need to uh, log, I mean, right click or uh, run as administrator. I think we can directly try. But best option, let's go ahead with run as administrator option. Oh, okay, so I already installed uh, one of the software. Let's uh, remove this quickly. Mm -hmm. So what we will do, we'll click on uh, this option that is to set up the new software, right click and run as administrator. So in my case, there is an existing software was there. And that's why it is uh, it, it is removing the existing one and then it is doing the installation. So as soon as we uh, go ahead with the setup option, this page will appear where you will see the income, uh, welcome message for the installation. Click on next. Here you need to accept the license. If you want, you can go through the detail. Click on next. And this is the installation page. Install Oracle 23, database 23 AI free. And this is the location for the software. Since uh, from 90, uh, 21C onwards, we have mandatory sys system and PDB admin. So one of the pluggable database will also get created as a part of configuration. So for all, all the users, we need to set up the password here and click on next. So after this, we'll click on the install option to proceed with the installation. Now this uh, installer file will uh, proceed with the installation. It will first copy the software and it will do the installation. Meanwhile, this installation is going on. I would like to uh, request if you are new to our YouTube channel, please do subscribe our channel and take a benefit of membership programs as well as you can take our recorded courses where you will be getting a, a complete end-to-end uh, -end database uh, learning courses. Also, you can take a, a, our YouTube videos related documents available at only 2000 rupees. And this ultimate course is available at 5000 Indian rupees. So, and apart from this, yeah, let, let's go back to uh, this installation page. So while this installation is happening, you'll also find out that there is a database creation and configuration is happening parallel. So you just have to wait and watch until it finishes.
So now, like uh, after the completion of installation, you'll you'll see this message. It says uh, the database installation is successfully completed. With the database installation completion, you'll find out there's one of the pluggable database with it with the name free pdb one got created and the listener is also created. So you, we just have to click on finish. Now you can take one uh, CMD that is command prompt here and log into this command prompt. So what I will do, I will increase the property. I mean, this uh, font size for this one so that we can quickly log into this. Here you can just type SQL plus hyphen V that will show the current version for this database that is 23.0. I mean, this is database version. Uh, release version and then the actual version for database is 23.6. Along with this, you can log into the database by running SQL plus slash SSDB. So here you can type so PDBs, so container underscore name. Okay. And if you type listener status, LSNR, LSNR, CTR status. So you already have the listener running from 23. Uh, Oracle home location. Okay. So this indicates the successful completion and configuration of 23 AI on Windows Server. This is a very quick and simple process that we can follow to do the installation. Only thing you need to remember that uh, whenever you are doing the installation, try to install from the administrative user uh, so that you will not face any challenges. With this, we have accomplished our uh, today's agenda like how the database 23 installation can be done on Windows Server. And uh, I would like to say <clears throat> thank you for watching this video. Please do subscribe our YouTube channel. And uh, also, if you are interested about our recorded courses, visit our website. Links given in the description of this. You can also join our upcoming training sessions. We are providing end-to-end -end four months detailed training uh, starting from 12th of January. This is going to be a um, morning batch for India-based student and evening batch uh, for us or other uh, locations so please uh, check our uh, website for more information about this syllabus and every details have been mentioned in this for any other queries you can always reach out to our given contact numbers you can whatsapp us on uh, our uh, contact details so thank you for uh, watching this video please do subscribe and uh, have a wonderful day